club, uh, rugby club, IVB is, uh, two okay. is, is 17 White years old. Ready. And I guess not all of them, uh, of the players, the are playing for 17 years now. So let's see what they can put in the water Best against uh, okay. the winner of the last year's Champions Cup, Akaren from Norway. Akaren in white and uh, IVB from Izmir in blue. Here we go. And Akaren has the ball. And Akaren is in ball possession and a call from the referee. No. Sorry, misinterpreted. Ah, call. So the first goal, sorry, we were uh, a little bit, there was a ringing here. So first goal for a Karen, uh, really fast. White team, yeah. Uh, that's, that's probably what I guessed. Uh, the, the way uh, Karen plays is not that known to the Turkish players. It's uh, the, all the experience and the physical force they have, they put into the water is, is super impressive. Yeah, they are really, really good. I mean, e Eger is going to play at three o'clock uh, against uh, Bamberg for the quarterfinal. Another score for a Karen. Number but at least seven it goal, white team. Number, oh, sorry, I'm missing the, the numbers. I cannot. Uh, So, uh, Turkey is on uh, attack now and they're trying to recover from the two goals already. But um, the Norwegian women, they're always so much awake in their game. I've never seen them really sleep. Uh, I mean, you know, having those kind of no greatest games. I, I never seen the Akaren women not being at the top. I mean, yeah. every game they have, they just deliver what they normally have a very homo homogeneous and um, way of delivering and bringing putting into water what they can. Uh, sure, you know they, have I mean? they have it's one level they play and that they even top the themselves. Exactly. Yeah. I, it's not like maybe like we, we were seeing some of the teams that I said, okay, maybe they're not fully awake or they're not putting everything they have or it doesn't look like they can bring. With a current, I don't remember having that situation with them because it always amazed me how they can be right there and, and, and do what the, I mean, their, their game, regardless of the team they have in front of them. And it's really, really impressive to see. So, so we were uh, uh, less than uh, three minutes uh, into the first half here. Uh, the women's team from Turkey, Izmir against Akaren. And it's the second goal. Third, and it's just the, the, third the, goal. the third goal, sorry. Um, the way they execute their attacks are just Blue like team, time out. The, the attack. Blue team. Time out. Finish with a goal. Number 10, goal, white team. And we have a goal from, uh, we have a timeout from uh, Izmir. I think that's a good thing they do right now. They have to talk about what's happening. They have to be more um, defensive. Consistent, consistent, yeah, consistent, yeah, consistent defensive against the attacks from Karen because it's, it's too easy and it looks easy. It isn't, but uh, it is quite easy for Karen to establish their attack at the basket and then push the goalkeeper up and score. And if they keep it on like this, they will have a finish with quite a high score here. And it wouldn't be a big surprise. Last 15. So nine, nine seconds left. Four seconds in this timeout. Okay, uh, now Izmir is going into the attack, but it takes a little bit too long for the next players to come in, and they are uh, very high above the basket. They have to go down uh, a little bit more, otherwise they are uh, going to be attacked from all sides. But that was a nice attack, nice ball exchange, very fast to the open side of the basket from Akaren, but tackled away by the four checkers. 
Um, Karen is still very much in control, but Ismir does a good job to move into the dangerous area of the Akaran basket and to put a little bit of pressure on the on the basket of Akaran. It's not dangerous, but nevertheless, they are in attack mode and they don't lose the ball. And that's a feature against one of these top teams like Akaran. So here we go. They, uh, um, Ismir lost the ball and uh, the Akaran player was attacked by two players which are bind to this player then. And the Akaran player got rid of them and uh, passed on the ball. And uh, they were now in the half of Ismir again. And are in the corner. Well, oh, that was, that a, was a touch from the pass Turkish interception from one of the Izmir players. But we're now on the surface, and there's a cluster building up, I think. And here we go. A car in, in the corner, going from the corner to the side, to the pool side, to the wall. And swimming around the basket and attacking in front of the basket, going a little bit more down from the close side. But uh, again, uh, very well defense. Now they have seen a little bit more into the game of Akaran. Uh, Izmir defended very well and tried to break free with the ball, but was they were intercepted in their own half. Um, and they lost the ball and Akaran is again on the move, on the basket. And the ball is again in uh, possession of uh, Izmir. I think after the, the break they took, after the timeout, they look more into the game of Akaran and more adapted. Yeah, after but three scores. Yeah, well, it's 3 0. And we have uh, still four and a half minutes to play in this, first in this uh, second half of the game Akaran against. Izmir. You no, know, this is normally very a tactic the first from Akar, and they try to score within the th first 30 seconds of it's the. It's still the first half. Sorry. This is the first half. The ball uh, flew around a little bit, but um, but this is something that current uses. What I mean is uh, now Turkey could recover a little bit and is more in control, and they are not having one score after the next one. But Akaren does that. They surprise with their speed in the l in the first minute a score. And then they keep the ball control and try to continue scoring, but normally they always try to do the first score and w within the first minute of, of the game. Um, so now we have the Turkish women really uh, defending and being in, in position and, and being good on, on pulling away the attacker, but now we have the a current player right under the goalie coming with the ball passing to the other on the close side the goalkeeper um it's more difficult now more for a current yes 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 it looks uh and it don't looks like they they uh took out speed or will but uh ismir is defending uh, uh more awake with more uh, presence in the water yes definitely they are they are doing blue team free throw <laughs> oh no no okay stay you, you you both stay here we have uh, Tarkan from the Turkish team so I'm going to so we have uh, Tarkan with me um, <coughs> that's very good uh, to have Hi a little bit of insight hello Tarkan here hello. from Ege yeah so watching the last uh, two and a half minutes of this uh, first half, Izmir against the current. What do you think, uh, Tarkan? Look, at you. have you seen some of the game already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm wa I was watching this game, and even the girls, the beginning of the game, a little bit uh, slowly. And after timeout, they probably coach said something, and now uh, they are looking more concentrated game. Yes, it's true. They're defending. Uh, yeah, um, and also they are. Uh, they miss the one uh, players. Uh, Blue okay. team, yeah, free throw. So we are so sad because she lost uh, her mother. Oh, two days before. So uh, all the best uh, to her. And yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are therefore we are so sad. They are also so sad. And therefore they are playing eleven players right now. Okay, I see. So it always, if you lose a, a player, you rely on. That's always difficult. Yeah. And uh, 
and also she uh, she was a key player. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Do these girls from Ismay have a lot of international experience playing? Yeah, uh, almost all of them is national team players. Okay, but do they play a lot uh, um, with other teams, with international teams? Do they have experience mm. there, you know, with playing against German or other teams? So actually, uh, this is not just only our problem in Turkey. They're all around the world, uh, there, there isn't uh, enough girls mm. yeah, competition. Yeah, that's true. So this is a nice attack now coming from the open yeah. side. This is number seven. He is the goal the goalkeeper. And uh, Karen yeah. but yeah. Uh, made it to to catch the ball away and is now back again on the offensive. But that yeah. was a nice interception from one of the Izmir players. They are very awake after they yeah. took the break. Yeah. In the first first minutes uh, they looked a little bit overrun, but now they are into the game. They was looking like it is still sleeping. Yes. Know? After yes, two <laughs> a little goal, bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After two goal, they woke up. Ah, that was interesting. I saw one of the current players get a hold, get a hold on the on the basket. Yeah. Normally, it doesn't uh, happen to game to players uh, on this level, but it can happen all the time. Yeah. Uh, normally, attackers should help the defender, yeah. but they missed the one attackers. Therefore, um, they can't help the defense Half so time. much. Yeah. Hi, Hakan. <laughs> <laughs> so, end of the first half here. Um, Izmir against uh, Akarin from Norway. And um, so, tell, can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Izmir girls? Um, uh, Levent wrote uh, they were founded the, as a swimming club in uh, 1995. And yeah, started e everything begins with Levent. Mr. <laughs> Levent, yes. <laughs> When I was sitting, when I went to uh, the university in Izmir, yes. from Antalya, uh, I went one day uh, to pool for swimming and I saw the uh, Levent and he has the twins also, Bilent. Yes, I know. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I saw them that in that time uh, they are coach of the IBB club and, uh, and also that time there was just only one club in Izmir. Okay. And we began uh, with, with them. And actually, Levent, when sh he was a student, uh, he went to Denmark for a, for uh, Erasmus student, like okay. some kind of like this, and he learned so much on water rugby. And after that, when he turned back to Turkey, he gave the all his knowledge, knowledge yeah. the way he shared with us. And after that, he gave to us, you know, the some basic things. And yeah. after that, we begin to put the every day, every year. And wow. so we improve ourselves, but everything begin with the lemons. Well, it's crazy. Therefore, I right now he is the CMAS. Yeah, the that's that's president. true. That's a good reason. When was that? When 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 came he back from Denmark, Levent? When did he start uh, um, playing like this in uh, in Turkey, Levent? Yes. Uh, uh, when, one more time, please. Wh when did he come back from Denmark with this knowledge? Minute. At uh -huh. what year was that? Uh, actually, I, I don't know. Hmm. Uh, which year? 1990 something uh, uh, in yeah, the yeah, 90s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Around okay. Like this. Interesting. 90s. I saw old pictures of uh, Levent with the uh, with the playing gear. Is he still playing sometimes? Sometimes. Really yeah. cool. I would love <laughs> to play against Levent sometime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we have uh, 41 seconds left, and I'm here with uh, Tarkan. Um, the uh, head coach of uh, Ege on the water rugby and it's really interesting to talk with uh, uh, Tarkan because he's building uh, a really big thing there uh, in, in Ege. How many pe how many players do you have uh, right now approximately? Do yeah. you know or is the time, is, it, is the number going up while you are here <laughs> not working? <laughs> Last Thursday when I come to Germany <laughs> I put around 270 around like this but I don't know this last uh, two days maybe wow. came a little bit more place crazy and you have you do a lot of uh, youth work we've yeah. been together in person in the open uh, german championships and i saw your team very great work so let's go yeah. back into the game last 10 minutes second half here uh, ibb uh, from ismir against a current from norway a current in white and ismir in blue so Karen is a really good team. Uh, when you see them playing, it's of amazing how, yeah, how they, they concentrated have a lot of experience. Yes, and they do. And they are really huge girls. Yes, they are too. Yeah. That's true. And that makes a difference. Uh, like uh, uh, Samuel Gaviria said, uh, the, the weight, the size 
does make a difference compared uh, combined with experience. Yeah, we are looking like a more so much the, like a Colombian yes. side. You True. Know? Uh, our physical type is looking like the Colombian yeah. type, and therefore we watch so much then. And you and have to rely on speed. Yeah. So there's an attack now from uh, Ismir. They're trying to get yeah, uh, on from above, but they're tackled away to the surface. So the people say hello to Tarka and Levin says hello and uh, uh, Ki from uh, uh, China, I think, no, from Hong Kong saying hello. Oh -ho. Hello, guys. Okay, and uh, now again at the uh, basket of uh, Izmir. Yeah, Ibebe is the main doing so nice defense, but right now there isn't any defender and a big mistake. And this is a good shot from the goalkeeper taking away the, the ball from the attacker and the new goalkeeper yeah. comes in. But sometimes it can be difficult because if yeah. you're tackled as a goalkeeper, you interrupt the, the, the up and down of the goalkeepers on the basket and you get yeah. can give a break and a, a weak spot. Now we don't yeah. see the ball which seems to be on the surface, fighting on the surface. Oh. And the ball dropped down next yeah. to the basket. Now she shouldn't stay there. No, she, she should, should go as far away. Yeah. yeah, as fast away as she can. But that's a danger because that's a dangerous area around yeah. the basket. Yeah, she shouldn't stay there. And also, basket shouldn't be empty. Oh, Singapore. Sorry, Key. You're from Singapore. Yes. Hopefully, you come to the next Champions Cup. Yeah. We'll be really looking forward to that. Key, Key is uh, right now in. Athens. Yes, true. I yeah. saw it on, on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good Here chance. Go. Come, come on, girls. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come on, Tarkan. Cheer, cheer the girls. Push them. Push them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they can hear you. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. Um, Ismir tries to establish their uh, attack pattern from the close side, going in in the basket from a Karen. But uh, like Tarkan said, it's really difficult in the compared to the size of the current players because they have so much more reach compared to the uh, Izmir girls. So it's really difficult. Call from the referees. And it's a free throw yeah. against the current. Yeah, blue team's using. Hi, guys. Blue team, free throw. And also, uh, this championship is so important for us. The uh, referee, yes. head, head referee yes. is, is Sarkan, is from Turkey. The first time cool. one referee is uh, participate in this uh, international organization. That's a very huge step. Yes. And it will bring back a lot of knowledge. Yes, and uh, also uh, last, uh, last uh, Turkey championship, and Manuel and Kaya yes. came to Turkey. Nice, very nice. Good referees and all, oh, that was the empty basket. Yeah. But but it it, team goal it, it what's what four. happens if you play yeah. in such against uh, such a top team they wear you out they make you tired and you lose the focus and and mistakes like this happen exactly like this yeah get tired lost concentration and empty so give the big distance empty yeah. distance yeah. Yeah. empty yeah. place and and this is something <coughs> I haven't seen by uh, happening to a Karen yet they never seem to slow down or get tired their machine the way they work their attacks and their defense is just spotless it's just yeah. uh, really really perfect I'm looking forward to the games uh, of uh, Orcas or uh, Langen against a Karen yeah oh well well played they 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 know each other very <coughs> well Karen they go in really fast even though it took uh, now that uh, goalkeeper is the best goalkeeper in Turkey right now Okay, yeah. the girl number going up number now. Number five. Oh, okay, how old is she? Do you know what? What is the? She's the, the oldest age? one. She's the oldest one. Okay, what uh, is the age average of the players? Twenty-four, okay. twenty-five, around like this. So quite young, quite good age. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they still have a, a at least ten years ahead of them playing uh, top on the water rugby. Very nice. If the club uh, can continue be uh, play together, these girls. Yeah. Uh, everybody should be afraid of them. Yeah. I believe so. Very good playing. Yeah. So again, uh, uh, Akaren is on the attack on the Turkish basket, but it's a little bit more difficult for them. Uh, like we said before, 
Izmir is defending very well, but under the constant pressure, the defense now, crumbles. It yeah. happens. Now I can see they lost to their concentration. Yeah, right yeah. Didn't lose the will to fight, but if you lose, it's a difference. Because mm. if you break and you will lose the will to fight, it's just like you're not in the water yeah. anymore. But losing concentration, things, mistakes yeah. happen. So four minutes to go. In the second half, uh, Izmir against uh, Akaren, Norway against uh, uh, Turkey. And it's very well played by Izmir. I, I have to have to say it's it's a nice way and a, uh, elegant way to play the water rugby. They could be probably a little bit faster. That's what I like about the Orcas. They are really fast, and yeah. I don't see that uh, <laughs> speed in the in the play of uh, Izmir. But nevertheless, they move right. They are in the right position. But uh, uh, Akaren is dominating in this yeah. game. Every tournament uh, so big experience for us. Yeah. And yeah. We are okay. Maybe sometimes we are lost games, but actually we never lost because we win. Yes. Uh, some experience and we making we taking mm -hmm. our homeworks and we are turning back to home and we are working so much and i can see in the men and female male and female turkish players and a little bit lost the fundamental you know mm -hmm. and we have to work the different type isn't it uh, the the time and experience and uh, yeah. for example the way in, in germany there's so much <coughs> heritage now and experience and that's what uh, yeah. turkey has to catch up with yeah but it will <laughs> you will <laughs> i'm quite sure <laughs> of seeing what you're doing there so uh, two and three two minutes 30 left in this game and Akaren uh, is is trying but not that hard they know they have uh, a lot of uh, heavy games ahead of them because they are going to the finals. Yeah, probably. So uh, they don't have to uh, use all their strength and make themselves tired. Uh, they are uh, leading 5-0 uh, and uh, the last two minutes, if they can score, they will. And here they go in as a, as a practice, but uh, it's not like uh, they have to, to prove anything in yeah. these last two minutes anymore. And here attack again. Uh. And this is the, the way of attacking like that, seeing the, the this little gap yeah. and using it as, yeah. as experience, the way you do it. Sometimes you even see like uh, there is no gap and you see players pulling the ball through yeah. and it's like magic going into it. So that's, that's a lot of experience. Okay, one minute, 27 left. And here we go. Uh, we have a fight on the surface. Uh, we cannot see much uh, what's happening there right now, but it looks like, uh, yeah, the Ismi girls have the ball and try to defend it and, and push forward into the half of uh, Akaren. But it's, it's really difficult because in, in on every step they have to fight for every piece of uh, pool space forward mm. to, to get close to the uh, current basket. And we are in the last 40, 48, 47 seconds in the second half. And I guess the Turkish girls are tired. And uh, it's hard for them to keep up against a current, the experienced team of a current. White team goal, number seven. Yeah, another one, yeah. another score. So it's a 7-0. No surprise here. And uh, we see a car and like Lorena told us before, they play uh, in every game. They play a high level. And uh, I think it has a little bit to do with uh, the way they, they, uh, they prepare themselves mentally. And probably now in the break, uh, this is the end of the, the game here. Game is over. Um, <coughs> And the both team is in thinking also continue the tournament because uh, Izmir will play against the Orcas. Yes. After this game. Yeah, yeah. And, and they are thinking right now also second game. Yeah. 